My BFI player choice this week is the exhilarating feature debut from Iranian-American writer-director Anna Lily Amapour, who described it as the Iranian love child of Sergio Leone and David Lynch, with Nosferatu as a babysitter. A girl walks home alone at night. Set in the fictional Iranian ghost town of Bad City, a name that nods towards Frank Miller's Sin City, the film exists in a twilight zone between nations, centuries, languages, and most importantly, genres. In the title role, Sheila Van presents an imposing, shape-shifting figure. In one scene, she's an alienated youth at home with her vinyl, altered images of 1980s pop icons plastered on the walls. In another, she's an eerie relative of the anti-heroine from Persepolis, cutting a swathe in a chadder on a skateboard. Elsewhere, she's a timeless wraith, a sepulchral creature lurking in the shadows. As she transforms, so the movie mutates around her, gleefully crossing boundaries as it mixes and matches its tropes. Early scenes evoke the monochrome retro cool of Jim Jarmusch's Stranger Than Paradise. Then we awaken in the world of Eraserhead, the concrete walls and belching industrial backdrops of Taft, California, echoing the geometric framings of David Lynch's stateless nightmare. And all the while, we move toward the gothic terrain of F.W. Murnau and Todd Browning, refracted through the noirish lens of Abel Ferrara's The Addiction. There's a subversive intelligence at work in all this scattershot cultural literacy. Just as Jennifer Kent looked back to the stock frame stutters of early cinema for her superb Schiller the Babadook, so Amipur adjusts her shutter speed to inject an almost imperceptible eeriness into the girl's killer moves. Her bat-like wings fluttering like a moth, dancing close to the light of an old movie projector. It all adds up to a deliriously disorientating experience, an American offshoot of the Iranian new wave that can be read as either a political parable or a pulpy potboiler, and is probably a bit of both.